I'm gonna take the real one. Okay, <laughs> this is a real camera. Mm -hmm. It's abstract art. Honestly, you can print it out like the, a picture this, behind this us. Is, yeah, <laughs> I, I think so. You're right. I'm like slightly ashamed to be showing you that, but I want to show you the truth. We really tested the limits of this camera. And my conclusion, I would say, Good morning everyone, welcome to a new special episode. Today I've got a many dollar camera, probably like a 10K setup, and we've got the cheese camera that I bought in Japan. You remember that little video in Japan? Well, I finally found a two gigabyte memory card to put in there because that's the max you can put. And we're gonna try it together. I don't know how it works. I've never seen a photo. I just know that to turn it on, you need to long press the on off and then it goes red. When you take a photo, it blinks from red to red again. We're in the epic location in Iceland with crazy glaciers and we're in full wilderness right now with no one around. Yeah, let's go take a photo of that waterfall with this. Let's make it really epic. What? First shot, I think it's gonna be great. I can already tell from the composition and the shutter speed. Maybe I should buy a tripod for my camera, honestly, because everyone has a tripod here. And cheese! There you go. Make sure you put the, the wrist strap always on. You never know what can happen. Let's go to the next secret spot here. Let's go see Joey. He looks cool. You got a good camera with you? Yeah, I got the best camera. Ready? Say cheese! Okay, I think I took it. This camera has a lot of success. Joey wants another shot now. Let me try to get there without dying. I'm sure the aperture is gonna be like really creamy bokeh. Okay, next spot. Woo, shot number two guys. So we're gonna take one with no one in there and then we're gonna take one with someone in there. Well, I have no clue how it composes. Like, I, I don't even know what the lens is. Maybe I'm looking at something way tighter. And the reality is that it's like super wide. Say cheese glacier. Okay, uh, someone in the shot. I send. Oh uh, no, maybe Nelly. Sorry. Okay. You've been blocked. You gotta hold the camera. Nelly is wearing red, and since we don't know how, how cool this is gonna be, so Nelly, just pretend like you're a hiker. Go a little further because this is like a 8518. Great camera. Three, two, one. I go in burst mode. Go. Okay. We'll call this burst. I'll say cheese, cheese, oh, magnificent. Let's see what we can do next with this. And now the easiest spot of all for a camera challenge. You see the little red dot right there? I mean, this is how you can look inside. Wait, wait, wait. There you go, guys. Can you see? It's, it's kind of exactly, this is so hard to know. What you're doing? I probably confiscate the whole glacier in my frame. No, I just stand somewhere here and it's gonna look great. Yeah, not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay, and then the last shot, vertical. Oh my God, this is so hard to see. I hope my finger is not in front of it. Okay, I'm trying my rule of third composition with the dominance right now. Super important if you've followed the 30 day to great photos, you know what I'm talking about. If not, link in the description. And everything has been edited with my cheese camera presets. I know what the comments are saying right now. It's like, of course, if you're in an epic location, any camera will work. <laughs> well, yeah, but then, you know, you know, I wanted to make this fun. So I'm taking you to great places, guys. But remember, no matter what kind of camera you use, you could be here and still not know how to take your photos. So take the course. Thanks, Joey. <laughs> take the course. Or buy a cheese camera and never feel bad if you take bad photos because maybe it's your camera for real this time. All right, you ready for the extreme shot now? Oh, wait. This, this, uh, this was just a joke. Camera. <laughs> Let me take the real one. I can't wait to see his reaction. Oh. Are you ready? Okay. <laughs> this is a real camera. Last, we're gonna test this camera with the portrait of our awesome guide. You're from Iceland, you're gonna get the best portrait in an ice cave in the world. Are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Cheese! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Let's debrief in a second and we'll show you all the results. Here we go guys. The cheese camera is about to reveal its secret. Is it great? Is it terrible? I want you to guess below. What kind of frame is that gonna be? 50 mil, 85, super tight, super wide. I have no clue. Look how small this was. Joey, you gotta see those photos. Look, this is the first photo and this is probably the worst photos 
I've ever seen since the invention of a digital camera. This is the Glacier one. Wow, what a nice green cast. Can you see that, guys? Whoa. Wow, I mean the composition isn't that bad. Oh no, look at this one with Nelly. It yeah. looks like it was taken like with the Blackberry webcam from uh, 1980. Yeah. So the framing is definitely wider than I thought. Oh wow, I think the best is a portrait, Joey. Look at the low light. This is a... Uh, uh, Gunnar. Yeah, Gunnar. Or guide during the glacier expedition. Absolutely, wow, rocking look, look it. Look at the dynamic at range. Like, the dynamic range is, is my favorite. Oh I my. took a photo of the of the ice cave. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's abstract art. Honestly, you can print it out like the, a picture this, behind this us. Is, yeah, <laughs> I, I think so. You're right. I don't know why everything looks kind of stretched up. I'll try to make it look better for you, but this is definitely interesting. Let's go through those photos one by one and critique. Okay, the first shot with Nelly. Could be kind of cool. This was shot on the side. Uh, definitely, I mean, it's hard to tell what is what considering the the resolution, but if we go beyond that, it almost looks like a painting, like a drawing. The first shot that I got of her while holding the GoPro, yeah, I mean, everything's wide out. There is no dynamic range, uh, fully blown out. I didn't know, and I still have a hard time knowing exactly what frame I have. It's really tight, really tight. Um, then we've got the waterfall on the side. Hey, why not? I don't know why it got green. Uh, don't ask me. I, I really don't know. Quick portrait of uh, Joy and Flo. Looks cool. Or it could be like an old phone photo. That's pretty cute. And we're moving on to the glacier, like the top hike. The glacier looks completely green. No clue why also. Oh, a little bit better. The white balance adjusted. Uh, composition wise it's I mean it's not that interesting but you see the glacier that's cool oh the top of the glacier because again I didn't know if it was white or not which I really wish it was white it would have made a better shot the light was harsh but you can see zero shadows like there is nothing in here that you can see look at this look at the details here what is that Wow okay next with Nelly in the shot cut her feet Obviously, well, I mean the framing the position is not bad look like she's standing out pretty well We just can't see what's in the sky or the top of the mountain and uh, another shot a little wider I thought it would be wide and I would get the mountain clearly. I don't have the mountain still Okay, same thing here and everything is so green right now I have no clue what's happening when it comes to the portrait in the ice cave. Well, I mean clearly this is not a low-light king camera I do not recommend it for low light or or shallow depth of field we do have a little bit of what i wanted here in the glacier part which is like kind of cool blue tones which looks a lot better with a real camera just watch the full video for that or like the videos on iceland another one which was the ice cave itself which was beautiful lots of dynamic range obviously and here we really tested the limits of this camera and it failed miserably we can barely know what is happening where uh, like Joey says, it's totally abstract and that's a little more conceptual. It could be a painting. Maybe we can print that and, and put it just like this beautiful print behind me. I don't know, that would be uh, work. And we've got a BTS shot of Joey filming in the cave. Hey, that one is not that bad in my opinion. We've got Joey on the left going towards the right. We've got some stuff. We can see a little bit of the ice cave. I think we could make guess of what it is. And the one that was in the path on the glacier, uh, super green, it's weird. And then it completely changes color. So I'm not sure what happened here. Uh, again, I was trying my framing, take the leading line. It's not the worst, but it's clearly not working as I expected or, or thought it would. Everything is like completely crooked. Uh, Nelly on the path, she's standing out. I think that shot might be one of the better one uh, for that scene. My conclusion, I would say, is uh, do not get a cheese camera unless you really want horrible photos. Get a disposable film camera, it's gonna cost you the same price. Try with that. This is terrible. I'm like slightly ashamed to be showing you that, but I wanna show you the truth. I wanted to, to have fun with this little camera. Gear kind of matters to a certain extent. But with that being said, get out there, go shoot, try something different, try something new. I'll see you in the next one uh, without the cheese camera. Have a beautiful day. I'll see you in the next one.